Hello and welcome to this tutorial on computation and signal processing in Kronos. There are two modes for running your program. We are going to look at evaluation first. Evaluation is especially useful for checking out intermediate results to ensure that an algorithm is working as expected. Here's an algorithm to compute frequency from a MIDI node number. Let's start with the node number 60, which is the middle C. The frequency for the A above the middle C is known. The node number for this A is 69, and the first step is to find out the distance between our input node and the reference. We can do this by subtracting the reference from our input node. To evaluate the subtraction, click on it and press Enter. The evaluation reply will appear in the console window. Next, we convert the semitones to octaves, dividing by 12. For each octave up, the frequency will double. In this step, we raise 2 to the power of our octave distance. We'll get a frequency ratio. Finally, Multiplying this ratio with our tuning reference, we obtain the final result in Hertz. Using evaluation requires us to manually request data. In signal processing, we typically want to process a stream of input data and automatically provide an output stream. We can turn our MIDI node converter into a signal processor by applying some reactive nodes. Let's create a slider to act as a signal source. Various special nodes, like the slider, are available. They appear in the menu with an at sign. To adjust the slider properties, click on the small plus icon. Since we want to simulate a MIDI note number, we want a range from 0 to 127 with a step of 1. The slider is a signal source, or a spring. Likewise, we need a destination, a sync. For this example, we use a sync called console out. This sync directs the output stream to our console window. To run the signal processor, open the workspace menu and click Build. Now, whenever we move the slider, the console sync receives data, automatically printing it.